Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of our April manager specials, and that is going to be the 2015 Lance 1685. It's going to be a fantastic four season lightweight coach. Let's go ahead and start up front, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So for ease of hooking up and unhooking, they went ahead and gave you a power tongue jack. Again, makes it nice and simple, less work for you. Also, it has a nice level on top, so you can kind of take a look and uh, see if the coach is going to be level. Behind that is your 20-pound propane tanks. You can see the cover there lifts off nice and easy with the thumb screws. Two 20-pound tanks, so you have 40 pounds of propane. Right behind that is going to be your uh, battery tray. It is big enough for two batteries, so if you do want two batteries, if you're doing a lot of boondocking, you can certainly uh, go ahead and fit them on there. It does come uh, as stocked with one. Then underneath that, you will see the spare tire. Also, there is going to be a light right over here. I know it's a little bit tougher to see, but that way if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, it makes it nice and easy. And also tucked right in there is going to be the battery disconnect. So if you need to kill all power, you can just flip that nice and easily. This is gonna drop down. This is gonna be the compartment for your sewer hose. That way you don't have to put it in the pass-through with everything else. Speaking of pass-through, let's go ahead and take a look. Lance does a, a really uh, cool thing on these, and that's they give you this giant pull-out tray. You can access this from either side, but you know, a lot of times those pass-throughs are really big, but it's hard to be able to reach and uh, get everything out of there that you want. So this makes it super simple. Then when you're done, you can just go ahead and slide it right back in, just like so. So, if we take a look up top on the Lance, you'll see the power awning. This is going to be an armless power awning, or rather the arms are going to be horizontal rather than vertical. Big advantage of that is it's not going to box you in. You're not going to have a big arm here, you know where you have to duck underneath it or you hit your head when you try to go across. Also, that awning is purely automatic, which means you literally just touch the button, you don't even have to hold it. It goes ahead and rolls out for you, self-adjusts, it comes back a little bit. Same thing to go back in, just touch the button. And it does have a, a wind sensor on there, so if it is going to be too windy, if you forget about your awning and go out somewhere and a storm comes in, uh, that is going to actually roll itself back up, which is a great feature. Underneath that is two outside speakers, so if you do want to listen to music outside, you can certainly do that. That'll be controlled by the multimedia center inside. Um, the, the Lance units do come with the upgraded Dexter axles, and those are also going to have self-adjusting brakes. So that's going to be a big advantage when it comes to maintenance. Nice and easy to get in the coach, two steps, easy grab handle right here, and then uh, you're going to have the keypad for keyless entry in case you want to, uh, again, make it a little bit easier to get inside the coach. If we come around to the back side, you'll see the ladder. Take a look at how thick this ladder is. You know, that's a nice sturdy ladder. That way you don't feel like you're gonna break it or fall off. That way you can climb on up, uh, climb on up any kind of roof maintenance or anything you need to do. That's going to make it nice and simple. So we come around to the off door side here. Again, maintenance, right? Lance is always thinking nice, easy access right there to any valves. This is going to be your outside shower. This has both hot and cold access. This wand right here is just going to go ahead and pull out for you. Detachable power cord on there as well. And then right here is going to be your cable and satellite uh, connections. Now this unit does have a slide, so bear in mind, it's you know a, a good size unit. It's gonna be uh, just around 4,100 pounds and you get this huge slide on there. If you look up at the top of the slide, you'll see the slide out topper. That way nothing's gonna sit up on top of that slide. So when you are done, nice and easy to go ahead and brush that off uh, as it, it'll go, rather do it itself as the slide moves in. Great storage, you can see here they utilize all the space that they can. So excellent storage right there in the slide that will be under the U-shaped dinette, which again, I'll show you when we head in. Also, take a look at this. This is gonna open up. Not only do you have the big pass-through with the tray, but you also have this massive storage here, and that's going to be underneath your bed. All right, a lot of great features on the outside. Let's go check out the gorgeous inside. Welcome to the inside of the uh, manager special. This is going to be a Lance 1685. Let's go ahead and start off right over here. So as soon as you walk in the door right here, you're gonna have nice big uh, pantry space. So you have a shelf up here. I love that this is gonna be nice and open. So if you want, you can put your own storage in here. You can put brooms, mops, whatever else you want. Uh, of course, we have our power cord in there, but there's just a ton of extra storage right there. And then this 
this is going to be either wardrobe or if you want it for a coat closet, of course you can put some hangers there. Go ahead and hang your jackets up when you come inside. Also, you'll see you're going to have two full extension drawers and the woodwork on the lands is absolutely phenomenal. I have to tell you, you know, they use CNC on everything, which I'll show you a little bit more when we come to the cabinetry. And then, um, you know, it's going to be like a residential build. They actually route out slots and everything in order to make it fit perfect. So it's just top of the line cabinetry, absolutely phenomenal. Then they have that drawer there. And then this is going to be access. So easy winterization, uh, you know, right there's your water heater. So you can go ahead and shut that off, bypass your water heater. So you're not filling it with glycol. The bathroom is 1685. You can see there is going to be your toilet, plenty of leg room. And then over next to that is the Neo Angle shower. You do have a couple of shelves as well as a hand wand and a nice big skylight up top. Right outside the shower is your mirrored medicine cabinet with excellent lighting. And down below that is the vanity with extra storage and a heat duct. Right here is going to be your multimedia center. This is what controls the speakers outside as well as the speakers in here. Also, this is going to be a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it in right there. And I'll show you where the TV is going to be located a little bit later. Uh, I have a key ring in here as well right when you walk in or hook rather so you can hang up all your keys. Nice big countertop space. You know, it, I, in a smaller coach, it's nice to have that space. You don't want this teeny tiny thing, so you get plenty of prep space on here. Huge single bowl, uh, circular sink. You know, this is nice and big. Plenty of room to go ahead and fit pots and pans in there. Also, this uh, cover is going to be cutting board quality, so you can go ahead and flip that over, use it as a cutting board, and then, of course, flip it back so no one sees the knife marks. Uh, great feature. Also, your faucet on here is going to be a pullout. The other thing I like about the faucet, this is real hardware. If you feel this, this isn't plastic. This is, uh, again, residential grade uh, faucet. So th they're putting high-end things in here. Take a look up here. You can see you have excellent storage, storage there and there. And again, one of the things I want to talk to you when it comes to precision, you know, take a look like up here. See how this goes all the way right up to the ceiling. Most of your manufacturers will put up some kind of gimp molding or something up there, but not Lance. They put it right up to the ceiling because everything is precision cut. And this stuff is tough. I mean, you can bang on it and it won't move. So definitely high-end cabinetry. Right here is going to be your microwave. Underneath that is your uh, hood with a fan and a light. And then here is the Atwood cooktop. Uh, your front burner is going to be high output on there. Great flame control on the Atwood. Then open it up and you'll have your nice big oven. Excellent storage underneath here as well. You have a couple pull-out drawers. Uh, I do have people ask me why they put plastic drawers in there, and it's really simple. It's going to be very versatile. So a lot of people that get the Lance, you know, it is a four-season camper. Maybe you're taking it fishing. You know, maybe you're taking it out and about. But these drawers are great because you can take them outside. You can do whatever you want. You know, you can put water in them. So just a very, very versatile system there. All right, let's make our way right over here. Our Norcold fridge freezer. Nice and large. This will run off of both LP or electric and it has automatic switch over for you. The other thing I like about this particular Norcold unit is it does have your temperature adjustment right on the outside, making it nice and simple. Now right up here is your queen bed. Now the, one of the things I do like about the Lance in, in this particular bed, you um, do have the storage underneath that I showed you. So nice easy access, that's access to the outside, it is on struts. So super easy access to go ahead and get in there. Also it has a headboard on here which is great, as well as an, a little shelf on the other side too. Up above you do get the clock there, so that's an extra bonus. Uh, the positive latch cabinets on here, I don't know if you can see that in the video but that's these right here it's kind of hidden which is nice and it's just a very solid system so nothing's going to open up on you but this is going to be storage it's also going to be a bunk um, you can go ahead and pull the pins out of either side this drops down and that gives you a top bunk for extra sleeping space right over here is the tv it is going to be uh, mounted on an arm so that swing arm can come all the way around in case you want to sit in the dinette and watch tv or as i mentioned you can go ahead and watch a movie there too Speaking of the dinette, we'll take a look right over here. Huge U dinette in here. I love the Lance U dinettes. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic, extremely comfortable, a ton of room. You know, a lot of times they make these tables really, really close to the back cushion. It's hard to, it's hard to get in there. Not the case in the Lance, you have excellent room. They also put in these corner cushions. So if you wanna lean back, you know, kind of in the corner, you can certainly do that, especially that one. Like I mentioned, you get a great shot to the TV. Uh, but plenty of room for you. This does drop down into make a bed. This um, center pole does come out, makes a nice big bed. 
where two adults can easily sleep. And also, this right here, both sides have a huge pull-out drawer, super easy access on there. You know, and it's nice and decorative, you can hardly tell it's there, which is phenomenal. Um, the light in here is really neat. This is going to be on a dimmer switch, which is really cool, so you can go ahead and adjust the lighting there too. I do get a lot of people that ask me why this is up on a slide, okay? And I want to explain that really quickly. The, 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 or why it's raised, rather. The reason for that is because most of your units that have a flush floor slide, they have to bring up the floor of the unit in order to make that flush floor. So this is essentially going to be, they'll bring this up to the same level here, okay? The reason Lance doesn't do that is because they want to be lightweight, they want to be easily towable. At just over 4,100 pounds, this unit can be towed by a lot of your mid-size SUVs, and you don't want it sticking way up in the air because that's going to catch more wind resistance, start to give you more sway. The lower to the ground, the better tow experience. So rather than raising the whole unit up, Lance just goes ahead and raises the slide up. Uh, one last thing to note, you do have a plug-in over here. I just want to point that out. So if you do need to plug in a laptop, tablet, something like that, you can certainly go ahead and do that. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. There's a ton more to talk about when it comes to Lance. Uh, you know, you definitely wanna come in and take a look at this one before it is gone. This is a manager special. It's a fantastic buy. If you're looking for something that's gonna be, you know, really high quality travel trailer, especially in a smaller space, or you want a uh, four season, you have to come see this one before it's gone. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.